All right, good morning, everybody. It's Saturday. We're about to go hit up some yard sales. It's going to be an early morning, though, only about an hour of thrifting as we have some early morning baseball games. But there is a 25 family yard sale right up the street. So we're going to hit that up and hope we hit as much goodies as we did last week. So let's go. Wow, wow, perfect. surprised so far. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, and it's the... And it's just us. Oh, it is. I 
Alright, so I'm gonna go with these. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I mean, ten even. Perfect, thank goodness. <laughs> this thing still works. Though. So, if you, you can even see it's, it's on. When you press it, different colored lights okay. come up. And then, if they put it on the bed, it makes the stars and stuff on the ceiling. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, exactly. Okay, yeah. Pretty cool. They, they enjoyed that one. Oh, I'm sure. When they were going to bed. Okay, so I've been off to a pretty slow start in this video till I finally had found that plush deal. That yard with the plush was probably the fifth or sixth house I'd hit up with no purchases yet. Um, got a good deal, $10 for the 10 pieces, which should make me a little bit of money. Um, but the houses before that, there just wasn't anything that fits my wheelhouse. There was a lot of good stuff most likely, but stuff I don't know. You see the first house that had all the paintings. I just don't know it. What do you do when you have a place where you just don't know the product? Do you let it go? Do you keep moving? Or do you just force something to happen and take a chance? Let me know in the comments below. Hey, how much are you looking for the two Penn State things and some months and things? About a good 15 for the three of them. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, thanks. You're welcome. Yeah, Munson's my dad's favorite player. All right, so, all right. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, thank you. Okay, yeah. Now I'm having like, I feel like when I see those monopolies, I just want to grab one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this puzzle is actually sealed. What do you think you Baseball. All right, again, still pretty slow. Not a lot of stuff that I would normally purchase, but I did get a pretty cool Thurman Munson starting lineup, which I don't know. I might give it to my dad. I might post it. I don't know. We'll see. But now I'm about to roll off solo as me and my fiance are about to split up because she's got to get to Boy Scouts and I got to get to a couple more sales before baseball.
they just have to stop on Saturday. So what they do is they do it's a recording in the afternoon. They they everything's in computer. They have a band member. You know, wow. they're they're not even like in a studio anymore. Ooh, you know, recording is right on. How much are you looking for on the uh, cars well, down there? Yeah, okay. there's one there. The, the Maestos? Oh, they're 20. 20? Okay. Three or four more going down. Okay. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um, you see, the guy had a lot of stuff. He looked like he was kind of like a reseller himself or maybe had a little hobby type shop. There's a lot of DVDs, sports stuff, model cars. Uh, but I just got rubbed the wrong way. A lot of the stuff I saw was high priced. And I don't know, just hearing him talk to other people uh, while I was there, it just rubbed me wrong. So when I asked about the model cars and he said 20, I knew there was no way. My highest was $10 a piece. They were comping 30 to 50. And then he said, well, I can go as low as 15, but that's it. It just rubbed me wrong and I had to go. I don't know if it was just striking out earlier at the sales that just kind of put me on tilt like I was playing poker or what. But there were a lot of DVDs I did want to look through. But after that, I was just like, I had enough of this. Have you ever been at a yard sale where you're just like, I can't deal with this guy. I don't care. I don't want it. I'm out of here. Have you ever been there before? Let me know. Hey, how are you? Good, how you doing? Good. How much you look for in the games? There. Uh, you check with the boss. Are, uh, all three for two dollars. Okay. Um, the game is um, three dollars. Yep. Okay. And the golf club three. That is for is twenty dollars for the set. Okay. Um, what about just the driver? Or are you just selling it as a set only? Okay. Yeah. All right. Would you do? Since this is five, would you do twenty overall for everything? Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Somebody can enjoy it. There you go. All right. <laughs> All right. Thank you, guys. I know I don't have any Nike yet. It's <laughs> <laughs> <Sorry. laughs>
Oh, okay. Are these the clothes for it right yeah. here? Okay. Oh, that's it. Okay. Yeah, well, that's it. Yeah. Okay. So. Okay. <laughs> okay. And I'm beginning to die. Okay. Yeah, my little one's the same way. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, so I'll take these and I'll take the two bags. That's fine. You must have one of I'm sure I got the stuff for the build a bear. <laughs> you have to have clues for the build a bear. Yeah. All right. Thank you. So Thank you. Have a good day. You too. Okay, so finally, finally started to find some items. No big hitters, but we did have some little deals. Um, you see, I finally negotiated. Finally talk somebody down on their price. That golf bag with the video games and the board game. Got that for 20 when initially they wanted 20 for just the golf bag and the clubs. So that was pretty cool. Um, it was good to see for myself that I can negotiate and get a lower price for something. Overall, it was a good one and it was great to spend more time with my fiance doing this thing. As you saw, she's starting to look for things as well that I might wanna sell or could sell and pointing them out to me, which is pretty cool. It makes the day even more fun to have her doing something that I enjoy. So I appreciate that. Guys, if you're still watching, thank you. I know this is probably the longest video I've ever made, so I truly appreciate that. Um, if you're new here, of course, hit that little subscribe button and come back and see some more because I got plenty of yard sale footage coming. Guys, smash the like. Have a good weekend at these sales and keep on crushing it. Guys, I'll talk to you on the next one.